Welcome friends, this is my third vlog, and if you're watching this, that means I have been in Germany officially now for one month, uh, which is about almost a fifth of my stay, or 20% of my freshman year math class that I got a C in, um, actually does me any justice. So one quick shout out I wanted to make, I wanted to thank Kristen Slaybaugh, she sent me a letter in the mail, and she wishes me greetings from America, and she hopes this card smells like bacon, a hint of obesity, and NASCAR with a side of a Krispy Kreme cheeseburger. So, that's great. Thanks, Kristen. Now, I wanted to sort of preface something that you're going to see in this video. Um, last week, I attended a rally with this organization called Pegida, um, and I, I wasn't on either side of this issue, but sort of Pegida is a political, non-affiliated organization here in Germany that um, shares a lot of the same values as neo-Nazism, but it's not quite the same thing. And in the video, I sort of, I call it Nazism because I was just learning what it was, but that's not exactly what it is, so it's not fair to say that. But, so I sort of observed this rally that was happening right here in my city, and it was a rally like for and against um, this organization called Pegida. There were people on one side of the street behind a fence, and there was a guy standing on top of a car, uh, sort of like preaching Pegida knowledge, if you will. There were people on the other side of the road um, sort of just making tons of noise and trying to drown out the voices of people on the other side. And in between, there were, it was kind of a no man's land kind of thing, and there were tons of police with like riot armor and, uh, and you know, batons and like weapons. And like, it was, it was definitely very, very well separated. I wasn't really on either side of the issue though, because I don't know enough about either belief um, but I, I did just sort of go and observe all the like chaos. It was it was very organized German chaos though. So anyway, that's what you're about to see in this next video is uh, some of the footage of the the mobs and like the anger and the uh, the demonstration that was going on. Okay, here we are at some random uh, some random demonstration against something. I'm not really sure what. Uh, it's a protest against something. Here are the cops. These are all the police, and they're really scary looking. Nazis no! Nazis no! Oh, they're saying Nazis Raus! Nazis no, they're saying Nazis Raus! Nazis oh, Nazis no! Okay, so Nazis this just in, we've discovered it's a it's a protest against Nazis in Germany. Everybody's saying Nazis Raus, which means Nazis get out. Okay, update. It is actually a protest against Nazis and a rally with Nazis. There's Nazis. I feel Nazis. like I'm kind of too white to be here. Me too. There's actually real Nazis right over there. And then right here, there is a protest against the Nazis. And Scott wants to go there so he and might get Scott killed. Scott wants to go there so he really might get killed. Cares it's but if I die, you know where to find my body in the middle of this He'll square. He'll probably just post this on YouTube. <laughs> There's, there's police running towards something, I can't really tell what. I think there was a fight breaking out. Somebody just got somebody just got hurt and they're on the ground and they're calling an ambulance we think That was the little bit of craziness that uh, I got to witness last week, and um, I just thought it was pretty interesting. But uh, I also wanted to juxtapose that then with the footage that you're going to see in the next bit. 
So it's Sunday and I'm on my way back from the bakery. Just had a little breakfast, brunch kind of thing. And uh, at the bakery I sat next to this woman from Trinidad and she just started talking to me randomly, which was kind of weird at first. But um, so she gave me some really interesting advice and told me about kind of her life story. And um, a quick bit about her, she was, so when she was really young, she married a guy and then he died after five years of their marriage. And then she started seeing this other guy who was a dentist, and um, and he lived in Stuttgart, Germany, so she moved to Stuttgart with him. But then she found out that he was already married, and so he killed his wife. This is all according to her. He, he killed his wife. That's not funny at all. And um, that, But then she was still with him for a while, and... Um, and she found out that he was actually a pimp, and uh, and then he had murdered his wife for her. And so all this stuff was really weird. And she was just sort of telling me all these like terrible life experiences she's, she's had, being from like Trinidad, which I guess is a pretty poor country. And um, so here's some advice from her real quick, and uh, I thought it was a very interesting way to start my morning, this random lady talking to me, so there you go. Yeah. Alright, say it to the camera. And what's a good piece of life advice you'd like to give to them? Uh, what a good advice is uh, take care of yourself and, and study and get out. <laughs> get out and do stuff. And do stuff, right. Great. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little unexpected nugget of wisdom that I got uh, on Sunday morning. Um, and I will see you guys later.